So I just watched episode one of the new live-action Halo series, and I thought I'd do a quick thing on it, but I think, first off, I'm not really sure if I want to do, like, a full, like, like, video for each episode, um, just because starting next week, Moon Knight comes out, and that's definitely going to take priority, um, video-wise, so... I'm not, I'm not really sure, and to be quite frank, I'm not even that interested in the Halo series, especially after having watched this first episode, um, I feel like Moon Knight's gonna just be the better, um, the better show, and I know more about it, I'm just gonna move because I can hear a clock going off, and I don't want that to fuck up the recording, here we go, okay, sorry about that, um, but, yeah, Anyway, back to Halo. Um, I feel like I, I was very skeptical about it ever since the first trailer dropped. Like, I don't know, I think it was probably about a month or two ago. Um, it just, I was worried because all, like, like Master Chief's suit especially, for example, it just looks very fake. And whenever they're, like, doing, like, these big action scenes that you see, like, towards, um, towards the beginning of the episode. All of, like, the movement of all, like, the Spartans and, like, the big, like, 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 the armor, um, it just, it looks incredibly fake. And I'm actually now, like, really curious to, like, see how they actually did it. Like, I wonder if they were all in, like, mocap suits or something, uh, or motion capture, however you want to say it, but... I feel like that's got to be the case, because I just don't see that being a practical suit. I, I really don't. I'd be really curious to see the behind-the-scenes stuff on that. But it just looked really fake. Like, Jar Jar Binks from Star Wars Phantom Menace in 1999 looked better than Master Chief did in this 2022 TV series. Like, I don't really know what they did wrong here, but... It just didn't look right. And whenever they're, like... Like, you could definitely tell, especially in, like, the fight scenes, just the way that they, like, move and, like, like do slides and stuff and <laughs> immediately are able to, like, whip around and shoot people. It just doesn't look right. I don't know. I believe the aspect ratio for it was technically IMAX, I think, um, I don't know, I feel like, it, it just didn't really look very cinematic, though, even despite that. I feel like they almost would have been better off doing, like, the traditional aspect ratio with, like, the black bars on the top and bottom. I feel like that might have helped a little bit, but I'm not really sure. I, I feel like it just didn't, it felt like a fan film. I think that's a good way of putting it. It didn't feel like an official Halo series, despite it being official, obviously. I don't know. It just didn't feel right. The cinematography, the camera work, even the acting to some extent, just didn't really feel cinematic. It felt very much like <laughs> like a big like group of like, film students, you know, trying to make something work with, like, an insane budget. And I will say, the set pieces were actually really good. I I did like that, the, um, the set pieces for the most part. I think that was pretty well done. I just wish they shot them better to make them actually, like, look cinematic. But I feel like the set pieces themselves actually looked pretty good. I will give them credit there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I would, my rating right now is probably about a 6 out of 10, I think. I think there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And obviously, like, stuff like <laughs> like Master Chief, that's not going to be fixed. Because, you know, you're not just going to completely change the way the suit is done midway through a season. That's just, you know, that's not going to happen. Um, and I'm actually not sure how many episodes there are going to be in total, but... I guess we'll find out. <laughs> but, yeah, what I might do, I might 
I might not necessarily do an episode for every, a video for every episode. I don't know, maybe I'll change my mind. It really depends on how busy I am, Um, because I am getting quite busy lately, which is why I'm thinking I might just do Moon Knight stuff. But, um, maybe I'll do, like, a season, like, review video, like, when the show actually ends. Um, like I said, I'm not really necessarily sure when that is off the top of my head, but we'll see. But, I don't know. I feel like I I am, yeah, I do kind of want to talk about the ending, so... If you haven't seen the episode yet, I'd say click off the video now, because I'm going to kind of talk about the ending of the episode. Um, you've been warned. So at the at the end, well, not necessarily right at the end, but after the halfway point, Master Chief, like, touches, like, some sort of device thing that, like, awakens memories in his head or something. And after that point, he starts to get more and more rebellious, um... To the point where he quite lit- like he literally decides to <laughs> veer off course and uh, save the <laughs> save the person he was told to kill. Um, I don't remember their name, but it was it, I don't know. It was just very interesting. And Master Chief in general, I don't think I said this yet, but I remember thinking that he seemed very different personality wise to the games. Um, granted, I haven't played all the games I've played. I've played all of Combat Evolve. I've played a bit of 2, a bit of 3, and other than that, that I've only played the multiplayers. But um, from those like three campaign games that I've played, Master Chief just seemed very different personality-wise. Like He seemed a lot more talkative. He seemed a lot more merciful. Like I mean, hell, he took his helmet off. <laughs> Like, he's, like, never did that in the games that I've played anyway. I don't know about the newer stuff, but it just, it didn't really seem like it was really, I don't know, respecting the source material to some extent. And I feel like they could have done a better job with that. But, I don't know, that's just my opinion. I'm sure some of you all diehard Halo fanboys will correct me, um... So, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe they'll be able to save this mid-season, we'll see. But as of now, my personal review is sitting at a 6 out of 10, so, yeah. But that's all for this one, I will see you the next one.